What's going on YouTubers? It's the Natural Born Driller. And welcome everyone to WWE 205 Lab Review. The show from March 5th, 2019. They're at uh, Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania. Your commentators are Nigel McGinnis, Vic Joseph, and Aiden English. And folks, finally they show the brackets for <laughs> the WWE Cruiserweight Championship um, No Contendership. You know, where it pertains to whoever wins will face Buddy Murphy for the Cruiserweight Championship at WrestleMania on the pre-show. But, yeah, they finally, they finally showed the brackets. And I see myself, why couldn't they just show the brackets um, when they first started this, um, this tournament? So, as you get into this video, you'll see the, the thumbnail of the video for this 205 Lab review. The brackets are um, are there. Um, you know, despite the, um, the ones that already uh, won the first round. That's in there already, so. But... Nevertheless, finally, finally the brackets are up, you know, so there you go. <clears throat> but that being said, um, as far as the show was, let's get to it. We get um, the opening um, highlights of Oni Lorcan, so what he's about. And Oni Lorcan comes out, he goes up against Humberto Carrillo, and in the first round the tournament continues on. And the match itself, pretty decent. You know, a, a lot, a lot um, of cool spots in the match. Um, during the match, by the way, uh, they, they cut to the back about two, twice, twice so far. Where Drew Gulak and gentleman Jack Gallagher were wearing t-shirts with a picture of Humberto Carrillo on it. So I guess that's the new merchandise t-shirt to buy if, you, if you're a fan of Humberto Carrillo. Whatever. <laughs> um... Like I said, the match itself was pretty decent. Uh, there was nothing great about the match, but uh, I, I still enjoyed it for what it was. Uh, wasn't was well, every, not everything was perfect, but st still, um, uh, I still I still was entertained in the match of it. Uh, in the end, Orly Lucas also win, win the match with the um half uh inverter um the half Nelson um ex explosion suplex. Um, and yeah, that's that that's say. So yeah, Orly Lucas um. Is getting his opportunity in, in his Cruiserweight Championship. Um, no, well, it is no contendership uh, tournament to fight, to fight for the Cruiserweight Championship, and he's he um uh, he's uh, he never sees this doing it a maze where it pertains to how he wrestles, and he's going he's going to, he's going to uh, advance to the semifinals. <laughs> uh, after the match, too, uh, yeah, Drew Gulak and Jim and Jack got her upset that Humberto Carrillo didn't win. So, <laughs> and there you go. Then we get to Mike Canellis, well, Mike and Maria Canellis backstage with uh, uh, the 205 Live general manager, Drake Madrick. And Mike and Maria are not uh, uh, happy about, you know, Drake or uh, Madrick giving him, you know, not, not putting him in the tournament. Because he thought um, last week, he said, you know, uh, that, that he was going to put him in the tournament. Uh, he said, no, he said he was going to put him in the match, but he never said about putting him in the tournament. And... So we get to this match between Mike, you know, we get a match between Mike Canellis versus Kobe Carino, the son of Steve Carino. If you um seen Ring of Honor, you, you know who I'm talking about. The son of uh, Kobe Carino, who is not, uh, doesn't look like, doesn't look like, a, doesn't even look like a wrestler. But, um, if Bruce Bliss would have saw him on TV, on WWE television basically, which, you know, which Steve Carino is part of WWE right now. Uh, on, but on NXT, but but if Bruce Bliss saw this guy, he probably would not like him anyway. So, because he hates Vanilla Mansions. So, but anyways, but Maria and Mike Canellis um were, were not happy about this whole situation. So Mike Canellis takes um advantage of of it by attacking Kobe Carino before the match even started, and then all of a sudden Mike Canellis just finish move on uh, Kobe Carino. <laughs> And match, uh, and, and, and basically, uh, the match basically um, never started, never happened, and referee, uh, you know, decides to say it's a no contest. And Mike Emery Canos leaves, and that was it. And I thought myself, well, after watching, watching that, I was saying to myself, that was a waste of my time. So Tony Nese cuts a promo about Drew Gulak about having his match uh, against him last year, uh, when they did the, when they did the, the Cruiserweight Championship tournament to uh, to crown uh, the, uh, the vacant. Uh, you know, you know the, um, the crown of the Cruiserweight Champion because at the time the Cruiserweight Championship title was vacant. 
So yeah, uh, Tony's uh, talking about this uh, whole thing with Drew Gulak, that he's going to beat him, get his redemption back, you know, get his win back against him after last year. <laughs> and it's going to um, happen next week. Then we get to Cedric uh, Alexander talking about, you know, him being in the Cruiserweight, talking about him being a Cruiserweight Champion, he wants to be the Champion again, and he's got to go do Akio Dozawa in, uh, uh, in this tournament. So we see uh, D. Brian Kendrick uh, with Akio Dozawa as Akio Dozawa is warming up, and D. Brian Kendrick is war um, encouraging him. And now we get to the main event. Uh, Akio Dozawa versus Cedric Alexander in the first round tournament to go to the semifinals. And match itself, pretty damn good. And yeah, the, the match wasn't that perfect either. You know, there were, there were a couple of a sloppiness, but still uh, it ended up picking up um, its theme later on in the match. You know, back and forth action, obviously, and such Alexander showing off his aggressive, aggressive, you know, aggressive side because he he wants to get back on that um, back on top of that mountain ever since he's been uh, uh, in the slump of losing that Cruiserweight Championship against Buddy Murphy. So this is his redemption to uh, to, get, to, to get back on track here. And it comes to the match too, by the way. I knew that Cedric Alexander was going to lose. And sure enough, I was right. He he ended up, he ended up beating Akio Dozawa with the long bar check. And gets a three count in the win. So your winner, going into the second round tournament, Cedric Alexander. Excuse me. If I could, you know, if I could spit it out. <laughs> uh, and after the match, Cedric Alexander, uh, you know, showed some sportsmanship to Akio Dozawa. And it was very emotional. It was um, it was a, a, fr a friendly competition at the end of the day. And there you go. There you go. And that was it. And because there was no match between Mike Kinellis and uh, Kobe Carino, Tomar Wrestling was uh, only two matches, and that and that included the tournament of, of, to, to crown a new number contender to face the Cruiserweight Champion at WrestleMania at the pre-show. <laughs> yeah, because 205, 205 Live doesn't matter. But in reality, 205 Live does matter. But anyways, but my overall stream for the show, it was a solid show, so I'm going to go... Of five uh, and a half out of ten. And that being said, thank you all for watching. It's the Natural Born Driller saying peace on the streets. Take care.